Yo, 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 what's happening everyone? Gaming with Maxi here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an owner-only door in Roblox, okay? If you like these type of videos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. Let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna, you're going to do is go up to the Create tab. Once you click on the Create tab, you're going to want to click Create New Game. After you do that, you can choose any type of base plate. We're just going to choose a flat terrain for our owner only door. Then you're going to click create game. After you're done with that, you can click edit on the game and make sure you have Roblox Studio. You'll have to download it if you haven't gotten it already. So once we are in studio here, you're going to want to load and please wait. And then what you want to do is make the owner only door first. So. What we want to do, click on the home button, then click on part. Okay. So that's going to be your part for the door. After you do that, click on the scale button and we're going to be building the perimeter around the door. And then we're going to build the door inside of it. And we're only going to be scripting the door inside. So what you're going to want to do is make sure the door is anchored. So the door does not fall on the ground. After that, you want to duplicate it and you're going to want to move it to the side. We're just going to build a perimeter around the door so you know exactly where the door is. This can be really helpful if you have an admin game where you want an owner only door or just a regular game where you want people with only owner admin to be able to go in there, which is super sweet, super easy to edit. And yeah, we're going to change the color. We're going to make it look really cool. We're going to do a nice little dark bluish black color to it. Actually, it's just too black. All right. And then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to move it over to the other side to build the other side of the perimeter of the door. Also, the script for this door to work will be in the description in case you can't follow along exa exactly and you are a little confused as to what I'm scripting or typing out. So you can always just look down there, but this is also helpful to watch if you are unsure of what to do. So we have built the perimeter of the door. It's not the best colors, but it's just so you can see the difference of the center part is where we're going to be scripting and the outer area is just the perimeter of the door. So we're going to click on the part of the center, which is the gray area. And we're going to click on script. And this is where we're going to get into the scripting part of the video. So you want to do script dot parent. After you do this, you're going to want to do dot touched colon connect, or I think that's a colon and then function and then after this you're going to parentheses type hit after you do that you're going to do hit then you're going to hit return after you hit return you are going to do if hit dot parent so basically if the person hits it and they're the owner it's going to let them in but if they're not owner it just won't let them through you can have it so it'll kill you but we're just going to have it so they're not allowed to get through so if hit dot parent find first child. So you're going to want to find that first child. And then after that, humanoid. So we are humanoids in Roblox. That's kind of what the characters are. After that, you're going to want to do then return local player equals game dot players. My bad. We're not going to want to have get children in there. That's not the right words. Next, we want to do if player dot name parentheses gaming with maxi. So you're going to want to put your name in there and you can also put other people's names if they are the owner of your game or if they have special owner admin, this is where you're going to put it in. So only they can enter the door. All right. Then if this person is on the list, they will be able to walk through the door and it'll be super easy. So this is my username, gaming with maxi two wise underscore YouTube. Um, you can change the name here. So for any player, next we're gonna do is script dot parent dot transparency equals 0.5. And so when the person interacts with the door, the transparency of the door is gonna become lighter, so you'll be able to see through the door, making it able to walk through. And then can collide will equal false, so you'll be able to walk through the door and the door will be turned can collide off and then it'll wait five seconds so you can change it to whatever you want so that means if once you walk through the door there'll be five seconds 
so other people can walk through the door too. So you might want to make it one second so other people can't walk through it. Next one you want to do is script.parent.transparency equals zero. So when you walk through the door, the transparency is zero, all right? After that, do script.parent.canCollide equals true. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click home, and we're going to click on the play button, test out the game, see how the door works. Very important to test that out. And let's see how we do here. So you can see my beautiful character, and I'm about to walk up to the door. Oh my gosh, it doesn't work. So, very important in scripting, so you learn from your mistakes. Click on the output button, and it'll show you your mistakes. So you click on that, and then it'll show you the mistake you made. So the mistake that we made here is, if player.name game with maxi is incorrect. So what we want to change here is equals equals... So I, got, I forgot a little bit of a parenthesis there, which was my bad. After that, we want to click play here again and test it out, and everything should be good to go. We'll see here. My beautiful character walking to the door. Oh my gosh, it works. So as you can see, it, it is open for five seconds, then the door will stop. There we go. The color will change, and that means you can't walk through it. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you have any other suggestions for video ideas, leave it down in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, it's your boy Game with Maxi. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Why not, right? If you want more of these videos, let me know. See you later. Peace.